Welcome to Cloud 941, Sarasota's only live television show on local politics and issues. I'm Ron Filipkowski. Tonight we're going to do a little bit of a different format tonight. We have my friend on the show, Derek Bird. Derek, welcome to the show. Ron, thanks for having me. And we are, Derek is, uh, is pretty, he's a local attorney and he's pretty heavily involved in politics. He's active in the Democratic Party. And uh, what we're going to do, usually I do my commentary on the news. What we're going to do is we're going to go through each news item and have uh, Derek give his sort of take on it as well. But primarily we had him on to talk about, of course, the big news this week, and that is the, uh, the, the suspension or paid leave of the, of the Sarasota City Police Chief and all the controversy surrounding the excessive force issue, and that's primarily what we're going to talk about, but first the news. This week um, I was able to host an event for the Attorney General, Bill McCollum, who is running for Governor of Florida. He's in a very tough race, which is going to be a very close race, as I predicted with uh, Alex Sink, who's the chief financial officer, who's Democrat running for governor. Uh, this is going to be a tight race. It was, a, it was a good crowd. He fielded a lot, of, a lot of tough questions, a lot of interesting questions he got from the audience, which he was kind enough to do. And these are the kind of things that I like to do here in Sarasota County is host, uh, host major, major events for, for big candidates. Uh, Derek, what do you think about the governor race? I think it's going to be really, really close between Alex Sink and Bill McCollum. I think Bill McCollum's done a pretty good job, honestly, of trying to put himself more in the middle, more in the center. I think at, at his core, he's right of right. I think that he's a very conservative Republican. Um, you know, much He's not in the same mold as, say, a Charlie Crist, not, not really at all. He knows that, and I think that he has tried very, and he's trying very hard to center himself more, to get more of the moderate vote. You know, he's always going to get the base. You're always going to get your Republican base vote. But in order to get uh, the independents and to get the moderates, he knows he's got to come a little, little bit more to the center, which he's trying to do. And so I, I think he's done a decent job of doing that. And if he can keep beating that message that he's not, uh, you know, what I would say right of right, I think he, he'll do okay. Have you, got, have you uh, found out anything about Alex Sink? Have you ever met her? Do you know much about her? I met Alex Sink one time at a fundraiser at the, for Christine Jennings. Um, she's she, a lot like Christine Jennings. She presents well. I mean, Alex yeah. Sink does present well. And she's a she's a female, and you know, female women tend to get a lot of the women vote. Um, I think Alex, it, it's going to be a tight race. You know, if Alex Sink, she's not much of a mudslinger, and I don't think she's going to get down and dirty. If that race were to get down and dirty, and she were to call McCullum as she sees him, it, it doesn't for some reason doesn't spin well. I hate to be gender bias on it, but when you're a woman and you start slinging the same sort of mud, I, if she stays away from that and she stays above it all and doesn't get dragged into the mudslinging, it's going to be a tight race. This week, uh, Lieutenant Governor Jeff Kotkamp announced that he is going to run for Attorney General. It looks like his competitor is probably going to be Dan Gelber, who's the state representative from Broward County. Uh, that looks like the Republican, uh, uh, Dem uh, Republican Democrat matchup for Attorney General to take Bill McCollum's job. Um, Kotkamp has got himself in a little bit of trouble with some of the uh, using a state plane for private uh, private flight. But uh, you know, do you think? What do you think about the attorney general being an elected position, and what do you think about the importance of that office? I think that most people don't even know what the attorney general does. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, uh, you know, the attorney general. You know, we know because we're criminal defense attorneys that they run the statewide prosecutor's office. Um, my experience with the statewide prosecutor's office has always been that they don't do a lot. Uh, you know, they, I guess that they prosecute some cyber crime. Um, they they kind of pick a hot topic to prosecute. But really, you know, they've kind of dropped the ball on all this, you know, white collar stuff. You know, the, the state attorney's office doesn't want to do the white collar stuff. It's too time consuming. It's, it's very involved. They don't really have the manpower for it. So they kind of hope, I think, that the statewide prosecutor's office and the attorney general will do that. And they haven't really done it. I mean, how, how many people have been prosecuted for mortgage fraud? How many people have been prosecuted? Not many. You know, we saw the Herald Tribune had a big series on the flipping of houses. Right. Nobody's really doing anything about that. I mean, these people are all committing fraud, wide open in the public, and that would be the type of thing the Attorney General's office could really seize. And if I were running for Attorney General, that would be one of my hot topics. And I would come in and say, hey, look. That'd be a good issue to run on, huh? Yeah, this is, a, this is something that we're going to go ahead and, and, and take the bull by the horns on. Um, but the Attorney General being an elected position, it's been that way. I guess it's constitutional in our, in our Florida Constitution to go that way. I don't think it's a bad thing, uh, but I think that people just still don't know what the attorney general really does. 
it has been a great stepping stone for politicians, though. You're I mean, right. you know, uh, Charlie Crist, you know, right. uh, you know, McCollum. Uh, it sounds very important, and, and and you know, they're the kind of guy in the white hat. I mean, they're like the state attorney for all the state, and so they really can't go too wrong. And because they tend to stay under the radar, they don't take a lot of heat. Uh, Butterworth, who had the job before that, was pretty highly respected too. Um, let's talk about what I think is kind of a funny story. This Harvard professor, Henry Louis Gates, getting arrested up in Cambridge. Uh, to me, the funny part about it is Obama weighing in initially because he, Gates is a friend of his saying that the cop was stupid. The officer then calls the White House, demands to talk to the president, give him his side of the story. The president talks to the officer, then issues a statement saying he made a mistake and he shouldn't have criticized, he shouldn't have made that statement. Now he's invited both of them to the White House to have a beer with him. What do you think about this whole well, thing? Well, I, I think I'd like to go to the White House and have a beer with Obama. Um, but, you know, in all seriousness, I, I, you know, I'm pro-Obama, I'm, I'm, I, so I'm a little biased on the answer. But I, I will say it's, to me, the first time that Barack Obama actually, you know, uh, stepped on his tongue. I mean, he, he's very cautious at what he says. He thinks before he talks, uh, unlike, you know, prior presidents. And he just, it, it's a friend of his. And I think that his, uh, I think that his logic took a, took a back seat to his emotions. I mean, this guy was a friend of his. He couldn't believe that this guy was being arrested, and uh, he, he just probably got involved in an area that he really didn't need to be involved in. I mean, let's face it, United States presidents really getting involved in a misdemeanor arrest in Massachusetts, really they have no business being involved in right. that. We've got so many bigger things going on, so it was a mistake. I mean, he made a mistake. That being said, I think that he, he realizes he made a mistake. He realizes he shouldn't have been involved in that, and he's now trying to, to, to fill the hole a little bit. And, uh, you know, I think his personality is the type of guy, I mean, you laugh, I think his personality is that much, of, he's a diplomat. I think his personality is like, why don't you guys, let's all get together, let's resolve this. You know, let's resolve the problem. It just seems silly because it's such a small, petty little event, you know, to, for the White House to be involved in. Anytime race comes up, though, it's, uh, it's a hot button issue. So we'll take our first break, and when we come back, we'll have more with Derek Bird on some some of the local politics, and then, of course, we'll get to the, uh, the problems with the police department here when we come back.